to start this video, I want to go around and go over the tools that I've bought in over the years and the things that I made to help me fly tie. It makes it a lot faster having your tools and thread and all of your materials on hand ready to go when you need them. The first start, when I started fly, tying flies when I was 12 years old, I started with some cheap materials. I had really cheap hackle pliers and scissors and just tweezers. And over the years I've bought new stuff, but we'll go over that. One of the first things I've made was a mount for the cheap vise that I was given. Um, I had a cardboard box under here, which was my trash can, and I would clamp my vise on right here. So I was tying up here and all the stuff that I would cut would fall in the trash can. I could just sweep it in. I came in and drilled holes in this and had a pegboard for the thread. And these holes are bigger. I'd have my bobbins and scissors and needles and stuff in here. And some of my bigger stuff would just fit in these holes. But over the years, I've gotten a lot better. And I started making things like this, where I would buy these little bobbins and glue them together and glue them on the wood so I could have my scissors and all the tools that I needed right here. And then my thread was here and my vise would stay here in the center of it and I could work around it. Um... I've progressed and bought more material than what I could hold in that. So I went off and bought dowel rods and pieces of wood and drilled holes and made new stuff. Uh, to go over this real quick, this is my 70 Danier thread. It's for dry flies. I have some wire here in different colors. I have some more wire over here in blue and red and silver in different sizes. Um, some tinsel. Come in with some tinsel. Uh, back over here, I have my first bobbin of thread I've ever bought when I was 12 years old. It is really heavy 210 denier and I've gotten it I only got four bobbins at 210 I don't use it that often you use it on bigger flies every once in a while you need some super glue come in here and I have some purple and pink and I rarely use this stuff I use this for demonstration purposes I have some Antron yarn in different coloring. Um, it's a lot thicker than the thread, and it helps you build up the body easier. It's shiny. Um, I have some 6 aught and 3 aught that I only use to tie furled leaders in a couple different colors. I have my peacock feathers. Just and holes over there. And then I've progressed and bought more things and ended up with this vise here. This vise has some couple neat features that I added to it. I have it on a block of wood here with some rubber leg posts so it doesn't move very easily. It came with this heavy metal stand. It's a full rotary vise. I took a paper clip and bent a paper clip around here to hold my wire up. But I also bought a thread bobbin stand. And this bobbin stand clamps onto here. And when you're using hackle pliers and tying hackle and stuff on the fly, you can just throw your bobbin over this little loop right here. 
and it'll hold it up out of the way for you but while I'm recording it is in the way of the camera I got a little magnetic tray here you put hooks in keeps your hooks nice and sturdy you don't got to worry about losing them whenever you take them out of the bags you don't want to set them on here because there's a lot of fibers you just wipe off randomly and throw in the trash can you'll pick up your hooks I have a whiting hackle gauge whiting is a very good brand of hackle you come in here and buy your hackle I got all different kinds of feathers and stuff in here and um, I needed a light so I went out and I bought a nice light stand it's got sp springs in it that help hold fibers in place that you're not using you just stick them in the springs and it keeps it out of the way keeps it from going in the trash over the years I've made little boxes I filled them up with tools and materials that you use to tie with. Um, I have one for dry here. I got my UV dubbing and hooks, and then my nymph box and a merger box. And I keep the different types of dubbing that I use specifically for each type of fly. I have this set up over here. Where you can see I got my I got little rubber legs in here and different types of feathers and all kinds of different beads. And you come in here and got peacock and other hackle and my marabou. You just go through. I got some ice dubbing, it's really shiny. And the original dubbing that I've bought when I first started. Um, I got my dry dubbing in here. That's really fine dry dubbing. I got this little fish tray that my grandma gave me. Let me uh, do something like this. Um, it works out. I put different things in here. I got squirrel tails, the squirrel fur, a couple feathers that I found outside. Just keeps everything nice. Um, I usually put pennies in a styrofoam cup to hold my flies while they're drying and keeps them upright and out of the way you don't gotta don't gotta worry about holding them I got another cup up here with flies in it I keep extra glued bobbins just in case one breaks a couple of uh, pegs if I need to add some or take some away I don't glue the dowel rods in place that way I can maneuver them where I want them I got some extra scissors and some really thick thread in different colors if I need to build the fly up really quickly if I don't want to waste a bunch of thread but the newest thing I just glued together and finally finished is my new tool rack come in here I got my bobbins on one side I got some needles uh, a hair stacker you put deer hair in it and you beat it on the table and it straightens them all up and it's a two piece so it comes apart and you can grab all the fibers and they're nice and straight I got some spring scissors that are curved and that helps with the deer hair uh, once it's tied on the fly you can come in and shape the body really quick because these scissors open up and you just sit there and trim them out I had to drill some of these holes a little bit bigger than the other ones to get them to fit inside. Some tweezers, uh, hackle pliers. I got two different types of whip finishers here. I got a delicate and a normal sized one. This delicate one, I wish the metal was a little bit sturdier. It bends very easy when you snug on it and it's, it's for delicate fly tying. These are hair scissors. They got a nice big cut on them. You want to cut a lot of material at once. Those work because these scissors only cut about a half of an inch at once. But these scissors are very sharp. They're, they have serrated edges. And they work wonders. Uh, 
uh, that's about I have this drawer down here full of stuff that is deer hair I got off of the buck I shot this year a pheasant you buy I bought at the store bunch of feathers and bucktail extra squirrel I keep up but you never run out of squirrel because there's always squirrels hanging somewhere in some tree you never know where they'll be but I got pheasant tails and squirrel hairs tied hanging everywhere and you can never forget a handy dandy pair of bifocals I'm only 25 but when you're tying things 16, 18, 20, 22, and I do tie nymphs in 22, um, there's 18, and 22, kind of buried, I haven't tied any 22 in a while, but you can see the difference between a size 18 and 22, there is a big difference, they're hard to see. The bifocals let me see instead of a magnifying glass in my face. And that's just a quick explanation of some of my tools. I got a, uh, a dubbing twister and a dubbing brush. And I cheat sometimes and I took a piece of shim and I glued Velcro onto it. It's really thin. It will get underneath the small hooks and pull the dubbing out whenever you need to make small scuds and different buggy like I got some needles some bigger needles for tying experiences I'll go over that when I teach you and this is about a wrap I got some really teeny small beads in here just I keep these little boxes everywhere I got a bag I got a one of these boxes this is full of just plastic baggies just in case because sometimes I make my own dubbing at a squirrel and deer hair depending on if I want to want it to float a lot of different types of fur you can cut up and make your own dubbing out of. I have rabbit, different things like that, but that's a quick overview of all of my tools and how it's everything's just so close. My tools are all upright, my scissors I can grab out real quick, I can grab everything up, I'm not messing around. And looking for stuff I know where everything's at and I'm really happy that I took the time to sit down and make all this stuff it makes my life in tying flies a lot simpler